if you kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? It's sites like these that can really challenge a person's faith in endless progress and development. Fish higher on the food chain are more mobile, able to traverse a variety of waters.
frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. Most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands.
From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. and hydrated is essential at the beach, as escaping invasive sharks can really sit. Fort Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis, when local favorite trash talk... That horse lake should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. It's gotta be the best at something. Special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Depper. No 
abdominal muscles to hold him in place, the shark's intestines become ungainly out of water. Pelagic Beast surveys the scene with cold, unfeeling eyes. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. The shark will now be gutted, cleaned, and sold as whitefish. Since the mid-20th century, an increasing number of oceanographers have warned about uncontrolled development of the sea. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Be
Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Coastal waters warm, it is often a harbinger of gore praised sharks. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. and publicly displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. Bull shark obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. Shark hunters have arrived. Soon we will see them in action and quite possibly discover which one of them stole my car's stereo.
the bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. <laughs> Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can bend and tie shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody was gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment. Got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. On the bed. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals.
somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. easily identified by their conical snout and crescent-shaped caudal feet. import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. She should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds.
scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Titans, thanks to a crack team of shark hunters. Shark fin traders come every year to Baton Rouge because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450?
golfer. But damn, if I didn't like sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking pets. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. Not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Golf ball diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to 10 cents per ball. The members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. We are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. USGA Rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damage clubs from abandonment. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater.
follow when encountering a strange fish is to identify it first, then kill it. Kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters hone while in prison. See that hole there? Sunk it in one shot back in 93. And if Cliff get it, I'll tell you why I didn't, he alive. attention spans are short. 
I've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. magnetic field may provide several cues useful for shark navigation. These sorts of attacks support the idea that the turn of the century would be marked by apocalyptic change. When shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. Hunter is vulnerable. As you can see, the Gulf Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacations. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. <laughs>